Hey, good morning. I'm ABC 10 meteorologist Tracy Humphrey. It is a beautiful start to your Saturday. Uh, we're going to take a look at your weather that you can expect over the course of the weekend and also take a sneak peek at next week as well. So let's kick things off with just how nice it was when we ended the week on Friday. Take a look at that. The work week coming to a close at 65 in Sacramento, which was one degree shy of a record high temperature. Temperatures down in Stockton and Modesto in the upper 50s. Not a surprise. They were socked in with low clouds for much of the day. So by the time the clouds moved out, they kind of got late. They got a late start on that daytime heating, and that's why their temperatures were in the upper 50s, which is near seasonal highs. But when you talk about the foothills, look at this, 68 in Auburn. They were bathing in sunshine throughout most of the day, as well as some parts of the northern end of the valley with 74 in Oroville. That is extremely mild for us for this time of the year. And then we came in with 70 in Fairfield and 62 degrees in San Francisco. So that's what we had yesterday. What can you expect today? Well, today Today, the average daytime high in the mid 50s, average morning low in the upper 30s. The record for today's date is 68, set back in 2009. Don't get excited. I do not believe we're going to be that mild today. And you can see the record low of 21 degrees, set back in 2007. Today, afternoon highs will be closer to seasonal highs. I do believe we'll be more like the upper 50s. We still got some clouds expected for the morning, but plenty of sunshine into the afternoon and plenty of something else. Plenty of rainfall. Yeah, we have picked up more than 14 inches of rainfall so far since the beginning of the water year, which was October 1st. And you might remember we had a very significant atmospheric river that came in late October and more atmospheric rivers coming in in December. And that's why we are looking at 6.79. Yeah, almost seven inches above average for rainfall for this time of the year. So your weather headlines for today. Dense morning fog is in the forecast for parts of the Sacramento Valley, even down into the San Joaquin Valley. We'll take a look at that. So dangerous driving conditions are expected. Seasonal weekend temperatures, that's in the mid to upper 50s across the area. And something else we're talking about today, a tsunami advisory in effect for the West Coast. The California coastline strong waves were possible for hours and could even extend into days. There was an underwater volcanic eruption that happened thousands of miles away from us uh, in parts of the Pacific near the Tonga Islands. But because of that, um, I would say the volcanic eruption, we have what we call undulation. That's a displacement of water and it pushes that water and it pushes currents again thousands of miles away. We could be looking at strong current, dangerous waves at or near the coastline. Again, that's all the way from Washington down to Southern California, and that does include parts of the Bay Area. So just be mindful. That's something we're watching for today. Hazardous driving conditions as well with a dense fog advisory in effect until 11 o'clock this morning. Here's what we're dealing with around 8 o'clock in the morning. It's pretty bad. Zero visibility in Modesto as well as in Stockton, also in Sacramento, and a tenth of a mile visibility in Fairfield if you're heading down toward parts of the Bay Area. Bear in mind, when when you're seeing this deeper shade of color here, like a deeper orange, that's when you're more likely to run into really thick fog. And if you've ever driven in it, sometimes you can see just great. And then all of a sudden you have to hit your brakes because the visibility is compromised so severely. So that's going to be in the forecast until around midday. Something else in the forecast this morning is chilly outside. 36 in Sacramento, 40 degrees down in Stockton, 41 degrees coming down in Modesto. It's 50 in Placerville, 52 in Jackson, and cold up in Tahoe. C -c 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 cold, 10 degrees in Truckee. 13 in South Lake Tahoe. I'm mimicking my nine year old. She does that when she's cold. 36 in Fairfield in the upper 30s coming in for Santa Rosa. So here's a look at what you can expect today. If you're going to be in the foothills, you got another nice day. Not quite as mild as yesterday, but still above average. 60 for Angels Camp, upper 50s coming in for Twain Hart. I'm going to go 60 for Jackson, upper 50s in Pollock Pines. 61 in Auburn. And how about those overnight lows? In the lower 40s. Tahoe, no snow in the forecast, no rain in the forecast, but boy, do you have a lot of sunshine. Afternoon highs in the lower to mid 40s coming in all the way into the middle of next week. Now we'll get to the Bay Area today. 62 in San Francisco, 60 in Oakland, 65 in San Jose, lower 60s in parts of the North Bay. Again, bear in mind, we do have the tsunami advisory for areas at or near the water. You could be looking at some strong currents and or waves coming into play because of, again, um, that volcanic eruption that we had well out near the Tonga Islands. And then the upper 50s for afternoon highs in Turlock today, upper 50s in Manteca, Patterson well into Modesto. 
And then here we go in Sacramento. So yesterday we were in the 60s for afternoon highs. Today the upper 50s. You'll see 40 for an overnight low. 60 if you're going to be in the Roseville area. Upper 50s in El Dorado Hills. 60 in Yuba City. 60 in Oroville. And 61 degrees in Galt. 10 day forecast. So we really haven't picked up rain or snow as of late. And unfortunately I don't have any rain or snow in the forecast for the next 10 days. High pressure system dominating our weather. It is a blocking pattern. It is blocking all that rain and snow from making its way to us. So in the meantime we have plenty of sunshine and we warm up to temperatures above average for the next 10 days.